you know, what we talk about all the time is number one, you're going to get a world class degree here. That, that's goal number one. Um, everything that we do, everything that, that, that our program wants to achieve on the field can't be achieved unless we achieve in the classroom first. That's first and foremost. Number two, we want to compete for championships every single year. It's as simple as that. We want to go out and outwork our opponents. We want to, we want to work hard every single day sacrifice and, and pour into each other and invest into each other every single day to give ourselves a chance to win a championship every single year. And then lastly, we just want to produce men that are going to go out into the world and, and, and be world beaters, quite honestly, that are just going to be the studs of their generation, that are going to go out and be great husbands and fathers and businessmen and leaders in the community. And when we can do those three things, then we're winning. No matter what happens, no matter what the record says, we're going to win when it's all said and done because we have guys that get a world-class degree. We got guys that, that have that burning desire to compete at the highest level and win at the highest level. And we got guys that are gonna invest in each other and love each other and become world beaters when they leave Campbell University. The 2013 Big South Baseball Champions are the Campbell University Fighting Camels. Over to first. This time it's automatic. The boys from Bowie's Creek going to the NCAA tournament. Swung on and miss, and Bender does it. Campbell is back in the NCAA tournament for the first time in four years. Barefoot tracking. And that'll do it. Campbell back to back championships of the Big South tournament. The Fighting Camels find a way here in Fayetteville. Minnick lofts it to center. Should be deep enough. Mosky to the track. Runner tagging, headed to home. And there is your walk-off win. Campbell advances to Monday. If there's been any secret sauce to our program over the last five years, certainly over the last two, it's, it's that we love our players and we want to invest in them. But more importantly, we want those guys to come in from all over the country, love each other, care about, um, each other more than they care about themselves and I think when you can do that and when you can breed that then special things happen you can overachieve you can you can overplay maybe your talent level because there's a, a genuine love and care for one another um, that surpasses you know kind of general understanding of how teams are built and, and I think that's when special things can happen and we've certainly had that over the last couple of years. This facility really is a reflection of, of what we want our staff and our players to be. The, the facility that we have now is first class in every single way. And, um, you know, with that comes expectations. And those expectations happen to be that, that we want our players and our staff to be first class in, in everything they do on and off the field. And so that allows us to recruit and develop players at the absolute highest level. Um, with that comes the expectation to win at the highest level and, and uh, you know, become winners and develop winners on the field, in the classroom and in the community. And, and really that's the reflection of this facility for our program is, is the investment that the administration's made for us and, and the expectations they have for us to be first class in everything we do and win at the highest levels in everything we do. And, and that's what we expect out of our staff and that's what we expect out of our players. Yeah, for us, it's the intensity of the fight, you know, just absolutely loving the challenge of competition every single day, just wanting to jump into the fight and love being in the fire every single day, I think for us is, is the competitive greatness part that, that's going to separate us from, from good to great and so on and so forth. When we just love being in that competitive mindset, whether it's on the field, whether it's in the weight room or the classroom or playing ping pong or playing video games, just having a bunch of guys that, that just love being competitive, that just love being in the fight, that just love getting in there and getting after it every single day. That's how you define competitive greatness, just having that love for the challenge of competition every single day. And when we can do that and we can find those guys, that sacrifice is worth it. When we sacrifice a lot of time, we ask our guys to sacrifice a lot of time, whether it be you know out of their personal lives to work hard and give the extra effort. And when we do that, then, then we're able to have success both on and off the field. You know, we talk about a lot in the recruiting process and while our guys are here that, that when you leave 
Campbell University, you're going to be ready to take on whatever's next, whether that's professional baseball, where we've had plenty of guys have very successful careers and big league careers over the last few years out of Campbell University, but we've also had soldiers and lawyers and doctors and businessmen and entrepreneurs. We've had guys that have gone on to be great husbands and great fathers. And, and when you talk about leaving a legacy and you talk about you know, when the winds all get wiped away over the course of time, the legacy that, that your program leaves is not the wins, is not the championships. It's the type of men that you produce out of your program. And when we have great husbands and great fathers and great men in the community and great professionals, then that's a good stamp for us. That's the type of legacy that we want to leave. And that's what we've been able to do. And, and that's what we're going to continue to do.